Edgar. All right, so <laughs> ow, if you become a fan of Edgar, uh, oh, there's a blooper. It's going on the blooper reel. All right. So we have, sorry, get back to the thing here. All right, so if you are a fan of Edgar and would like to purchase some Edgar-related apparel and items, you can visit my website at onepurposetees.com and we have some Edgar stuff <laughs> on there for your enjoyment. Right, Edgar? All right, onepurposetees.com. Check out the Edgar stuff. Hey everybody. <laughs> um, so some of you have been waiting for this video for a while. Um, finally got a chance to do it. Finally got some decent weather. It's still pretty chilly out. But for those of you who know what's going on and those of you that don't, I want to introduce you to a little friend of ours that showed up about a little over six and a half weeks ago, um, August 16th, I'm going to try to sit down and do this in this chair here. And, okay, so about six and a half weeks ago, August 16th, I um, was getting ready for the day. And on the back porch was this, this crow going absolutely ballistic, like loud. Um, so I walked out and looked out the kitchen window. We've got a walkout basement and this crow is down on our patio furniture, just raising the holy, you know what? And, um, so I went, went downstairs and opened the door and this crow like started flying to go in the door. <sighs> Still drinking my morning coffee. So I was like, all right, this is a little strange. So I ended up, I yelled for Kelly and I was like, this crow's trying to get in the house. And so I came out front here and the crow ended up coming up on our pergola here over the front walk and sitting up there and just like trying to be my buddy. I'm like, okay, this is, uh, this is not normal. And he just was, was hanging around and not afraid of me. Which again, not normal, wild animal. So I ended up calling. Uh, there's, a, there's a local wildlife center, rehab center. And I called them and they said, well, you know, it could be, it could have been rehab somewhere. It could have been somebody's pet. Um, you know, is he injured or anything? I was asking me a couple questions and I'm like, no, he's, you know, he's, seems fine just seems like he wants to hang out with me today so i told him i keep an eye on him and, and let them know you know if anything changed or if he was hanging around more or, or whatever so for the next about week and a half this this crow we call him edgar alex crow there's a lot of edgar allen crows out there that are in social media so we had to change it to Alex Crow. Um, ow! You're probably going to guess that the, the Master of Ceremonies is down here biting my ankles right now. So I'll show them to you in a minute. <laughs> but, um, so like I said, about the next week and a half or so, I he was hanging around and got to the point I'd take a walk down the street and he'd follow me down the street. Um, I take a ride on the bike and he's swooping down and kind of following me. Um, and then it just kind of blossomed, I guess, from there. Um, he likes shoelaces. We found out and <laughs> we got some good videos of that. But um, so as this was some, went on for you know a week or so, week or two, my other neighbor down the street him um edgar and his his other group of his group of crows so a group of crows is actually called a murder <laughs> really cool huh uh, so we have a murder of crows around here 
and there's Edgar and um, three other crows in his murder. So they they hang around here, but Edgar's the only one that that um, you know comes down and, and kind of hangs out. So he ended up making friends with the neighbors down the street. Um, we'll kind of go back and forth. Um, and she actually called the rehab center and said, "Hey." told me it's like hey I found out some information on Edgar so here she must talk to somebody different um, Edgar there were two crows that had been rehabbed that were abandoned and they were rehabbed uh, earlier this year in May and they were brought out to our area and actually released with some other crows um, ironically I know the person that released the crows so I got a hold of hold of them and um you know said hey uh you might know this crow that's up here on my uh on my pergola hanging out um so we got to chatting a little bit but um so edgar kept coming and going and he'll he'll leave for three days with his murder and then they'll come back like he literally came back this morning he's been gone for the last three days and sometimes he hangs out for an hour or so and other times he'll hang out till about lunchtime and then he he takes off with his with his buddies so um but we hear them they they stay around the area um they'll be up on the hill they'll be across the street across the main street over there we'll hear them down by the river um on occasion they're in the back here uh, but usually they're kind of kind of out in front here um and i've seen them across the road a couple times just kind of going and, and looking for them and if I don't see him, I'll I'll take a ride down down the end of the street, and I'll hear who I'm assuming is is him and his murder, um, you know, down there down there across in the uh, the other wooded patch. So, but he was released about straight as a crow flies. I'd say mile mile and a half from here tops. Uh, it's not far. So let's see what else. Oh, yep. So <clears throat> a couple more weeks went by and, you know, we're, we're kind of looking at, okay, winter's coming up. Do crows, I'm going to put my arm down, <laughs> getting shaky here. You know, do crows migrate for the winter? Um, so that was, that was kind of a concern. You know, luckily he's, he hasn't been hanging out here on a daily basis, but he, you know, he kind of comes and goes and and he's not afraid of us. He's our buddy, as you will as you will definitely see in the videos. Um, so I ended up calling the rehab center and said, "Hey, you know, the bird's still hanging around, you know, on occasion." Um, so long story short, we're going to keep an eye on him. If he doesn't, you know, we we want him to migrate. We want him to to go wherever his murder goes, wherever wherever that is. Um, we've heard that crows will go. A long distance some of them don't really go far at all um, so we just hope that he he goes with his murder um, when they decide to migrate um, like I said he's <clears throat> the group will be around they'll be in the trees up here you know, you'll see in some of the videos and and he'll come down and hang out and then you know they'll disperse and then he'll catch up with them later so um, so at that point you know if he doesn't go ow dude I'm trying to talk about you. Um, <laughs> if you, ow, shoelace, not my ankle. <laughs> um, he's being ornery today. So you know, it comes to the point in time that he does not migrate, then we're going to have to, um, you know, take measures to make sure that he's taken care of. Um, I cannot get a permit. You have to have, I believe, it's like a hundred hours to experience with a crow which i probably do at this point um but he may have to go back to the rehab center unfortunately with their um ow, sorry i gotta get up um unfortunately with there if he goes back there then he will he will be a permanent resident probably um and he definitely loves it's really cool seeing him fly around here with his murder um it's just it's it's pretty amazing watching him fly so, <laughs> all right, I think he wants some attention, so I'll keep talking, and I'll put him on camera. Um, 
All right, Edgar, are you ready? You ready for your debut? There you go, man. Oh, and here comes FedEx. Yeah, I may have to pause this. <clears throat> we'll see if they come up or not. Okay, so this is Edgar Alex Crow. Hi, buddy. How you doing? He just got done molting. Um, you look like a goofy chicken, didn't you? So he was missing, he was actually missing the feathers around his ears. His whole neck was was pretty sparse. They're still kind of growing in there a little bit, but he looks he looks really good. So Alright, so where do we leave off? Um, yeah, so migrating, depending on you need to, you know, you need to leave with your with your murder and go over they wherever they go. Um, you know, be sad to see him leave, but hopefully he comes back and that's kind of what he needs to do. So um okay let's see what else um told everybody so yeah so it's been a little bit over it'll be uh seven weeks on tuesday um loves peanuts he's got his toys we've got some suet over here that he kind of picks at from time to time he's really scared about suet did you bring me a leaf and a stick thanks buddy His pecs do hurt. Um, he's got his wiffle ball. We'll put some, some cat food in there. Okay, we're going to walk. So he loves to he loves to play with stuff. He obviously pokes everything. Um, <laughs> and he was we brought a little pom-pom out here that was one of the cats. So he'll, he'll play with that and move that around. It was actually sitting on one of the vehicles the other day um, but he's got a lot of character and he's definitely been been a joy to have around um, you know like I said hopefully he's eating stuff that he's hidden in the flower pots you know uh, let's see what else about Edgar um, let's see here yeah, so he's got a sibling. We don't know. We're, we guess that his sibling is one of the other crows in his murder. Obviously not sure. Um, he has not visited back to where he was released, and uh, I believe the other crows have not as well. So, got a delivery truck coming down the road here, so I may have to, may have to pause the video. Um, show you his little... His little uh, box up here. So typically, what will happen is if he's in the trees, he'll come in the surrounding trees. He really likes to sit in this dead tree in the back, um, and then he'll roost sometimes over over in these trees over here. And then up behind the barn, we got some dead cherries, cherry trees back there, and he'll sit back, sit back uh, on some of those limbs there. And then other times up there in that oak tree, but he loves sitting on the pergola. And kind of when he does come down, if the dog's out here, he doesn't really, doesn't like coming down. He'll come down a little bit. Bailey will try to, try to play with him a little, but this is his, this is kind of his perch here. Um, he loves sitting on this. This was actually from my dad's house years ago, brought over here, but Edgar will, will sit on that. And... He likes to play with, okay, delivery truck is not coming in. That's good, so I don't have to stop this video. Look at him. He's over here just playing around in the flower pot. Glad we didn't put any mums in here this year because he would have probably destroyed them with, he'll hide his food in here. Hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to plant an oak tree? Huh? Are you trying to eat? Dude, you can't eat acorns. We've already been through this. Yeah, we can't. We've already been through this. He tried eating acorns before, and it's just not. It's not happening. <laughs> All right, I'll show everybody. We got his little. Got his little box up here, his little snack box. So we got the our bedroom window, bathroom windows right here. Um, you'll see on some posts and videos that he likes to. We'll open this up, and he'll sit on here and kind of watch us get ready in the morning, which is kind of creepy, but. So Kelly, my wife, brought this little box out here. 
Um, so it's kind of his little... He's got some cranberries in there and some shiny things and another little cat toy to throw around. And So he'll come up here and, and kind of hang out and watch us in the morning. Leave us presents. Yeah, I got to clean that one up. But, so, Edgar will be... Folks have been wanting me to put a an Edgar Alex Crow, um, you know, some social media out there and stuff. And I've already got some some other social media accounts that I take care of. So Edgar, all of the Edgar videos um, and posts will be on my Gen X Greg uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. So everybody will be able to uh, see his antics and, and updates on there. Um, right now everything's just been on my personal. So I've got <laughs> I've got about six and a half weeks of, of material to update. And there comes the, that's our other neighbor who Edgar loves to go visit. They're just driving by. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to have all of his stuff on... I didn't want to create a separate page. I'm going to have everything on Gen X, Greg. Dude, really? Because, <laughs> um, yeah, like like I said, sorry. Um, everything's been on my private, and you can share it, but you can't follow, and I don't want a whole bunch of people friending me that I don't know. But if you want to follow Edgar, that is awesome. Dude, you want to play? All right, so that is Edgar's backstory. Um Recap, Nest was abandoned with his sibling. He was rehabbed in May of this year and released. Um, actually, so when he was released, it was within a couple of days that um, my friend said she started seeing the videos of, of me with Edgar. So it didn't take him long. Like I said, she's about a mile, mile and a half down the road um, at the release point. So... I, yeah, within a couple days he was here. Um, yeah, actually, I forgot one little tidbit. You got a cranberry? So the morning that he did show up, he actually came to my neighbor's house over next door. Sold my truck. Yay. Um, he actually surprised my neighbor. She was on her back porch, and he came down and was trying to be friendly with her and kind of freaked her out because he's like, hey, there's a human, and maybe a new friend so <laughs> but so i will keep i've been doing a lot of videos with edgar um for us so for on the youtube channel i'll be kind of keep the video i usually keep those videos to about three minutes or so so i'll kind of put some compilations of those together um and have those on there and then of course photos and some other things will we'll get that all out there so i've got a, a lot of work to do um don't know how long Edgar's going to stay around, but we'll uh, we'll keep doing this, you know, as long as he's here, and hopefully everybody enjoys him, and he's been, he can be a butthead sometimes, but he's a funny little bird. So, all right, we will see everybody later on. Hey, I'm going to say bye. You found a cranberry? Hey. Oh, there's ants on your cranberries. You say bye to the camera? Hey. Alright. See everybody later.